Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another art swap challenge and today's theme is insect. So the character we have to draw has to be insect themed. And the basic idea for this challenge is Kay and I will both draw a sketch and then we will swap and then the other person will color the sketch. So basically one person's person sketches and then the other person colors. Um, usually we time these challenges, but today we decided we were not going to time it because we didn't feel like having that pressure. So anyways, um, I'll be showing the drawing I sketched first. So basically the idea I had for my drawing was that it would be a tiny little boy riding a banana slug. And uh, before you mention this, yeah, I know a banana slug is not an insect, but I didn't think that hard. Um, but it was so cute. So I struggled a lot with his pose and his face and actually it's everything. So I like redrew his body, um, like his whole body, like completely. So first he was looking up and now he's looking down at the slug and then like his legs were down and then now his legs are in a cross leg position. So after I got that rough sketch down, I went over on top for a cleanup sketch, which is my usual process because my initial sketch is usually like really thick and really messy and you can't really see anything. Um, those hands were a little suspicious, but they turned out to be little nubs, so he doesn't really have all his fingers, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, I just thought he was really cute and the slug, I love it. Um, the reference picture I had was like a little kid riding a dog and it was also adorable and so like the slug has a leash and it has a little smile on its face and it's so cute i think he's just like a guy chilling in the forest i love it so much um and before i gave it to Kay, i filled in some flats and then i think some things i really liked about this sketch oh by the way it's done now <laughs> um is like how how happy he is mostly he's adorable and the slug, its face is so cute. Even though I know slugs don't really like have faces, this slug's face is adorable. Um, yeah. So now I will hand this sketch to Kay and she'll talk about how she colored it. Hi, this is Kay. So here I am coloring. Uh, to begin with, I changed the background color. Um, I'll add green back in later. So to start off with coloring, I actually ended up uh, blocking in my shadows first so here is I believe like a light grayish color set to multiply and then I kind of just blurred out the shadows so it wasn't as, as harsh in some places Um, here I am going in with the shading so for most of this drawing um, I kind of just got whatever color was in the flat and then I got a slightly darker color with a cooler hue for the shadows and then I do the opposite so I get a lighter color um, with a slightly warmer hue for like highlights and then that's what you'll see me doing for most of this drawing and then oh here I am blending out like what you see is like orange kind of lighting on the edges of the shadow I just did that with a warmer color in the multiply layer because when light like hits shadows it's not an immediate transition from like light to dark there's kind of like a warmish color so I, I i put like an orange color and then here's me doing the log i decided this time i would break the cycle of constantly using the wooden brush so i kind of just blocked in some weird like grooves that i kind of got as inspiration from a game i've been playing and then here's some moss, just random kind of green blobs. And these are supposed to be mushrooms, but they didn't really, they look a little suspicious, but I, I said it was good enough. And then here's the green in the background, and it's just a ton of different shades of green. And then using the add layer for those really bright highlight, white highlights. And then, yeah. And then here I like, I noticed that some artists started um, like taking the background color and then using it as kind of like a blend at, on like certain parts of their characters between just like the character in the background. So I thought I'd try that out with the blue background. And then 
I went back at the end and like smoothed out some stuff and then added more highlights using the add uh, multiply, not multiply, just like the add layer. And um, yeah, so here's my drawing. I think it turned out really cute and uh, saturated. I, I'm most proud that when you look at this, you can like still see the like shadows and then brightness from far away. It's not just all the coloring just becomes one flat thing. So that was my main goal for this. And I think I accomplished it, but yeah, kudos to Elle for creating something super cute for me to color. Hey guys, this is Kay. So here I am sketching and on the left you'll see my references. So the top one I kind of just cropped two different images together to get the like um, pose that I wanted. And then for the whole insect theme, my inspiration for this came from the butterfly wings on the eyes of the girl in the bottom left. And so you're gonna see that pop up here in my sketch real quick. And I really liked like the flowy sleeves that I ended up giving her, but I panicked in the last moment and kind of defaulted to giving her this weird like hoodie tunic thingy and uh, she's got some questionable fashion sense, but um, yeah, she, she's, still, she's still pretty, so it's okay. And here I am going in with the, I guess like wavy hair. I'm actually kind of proud of how this turned out because I, I don't normally draw wavy hair and so it like somewhat resembled what I wanted and then here I am cleaning up my sketch because boy did it need it and then adding cool little gold details for the um I guess hair accessories yeah so I'm just doing that here and then oh in the last few seconds, I realized she I forgot to add the wings and the whole background. So uh, yeah, and then this is what I did for the sketch. Okay, so now it's my turn to color. And I start by obviously filling in the flats. I think uh, Kay had wanted her hair to be brown, but I decided to go with white just because I thought white was really cool. And since she has this whole like butterfly thing going on, uh, I got the idea to make it like iridescent and have like her, um, especially her hair because it was white like iridescent with a bunch of um, different colors in it. So right now I'm adding this like light blue shadow to her hair. I was using this reference which you can't see of this like really pretty coat that had light blue and pink in it and white obviously. And I put the light blue in the shadows and then I tried to put the pink in between the light blue and the white and then I put purple in the darkest parts of the hair and now I'm adding an add layer which was white to the left side of her hair because that's where the light is coming from um also in the background I put in some like random color blobs just to, so you get an idea of this background um and then I use Gaussian blur and then uh, I just put this like light skin color on her face and that like lights up the left side of her face I was really proud of it um, it's just a lighter color where the light is coming from and then now I'm doing the same thing on the jacket There's nothing much. Yep lighter on the left side um, I put a branch behind her head so her uh, hair wouldn't blend in with the background and then for the wings I just erased the center of them to make them look transparent and then Colored over them with some different colors and now I'm just adding some highlights to the leaves and I will probably be done soon after some cleanup and then some probably flashing oh i also like added highlights and shadows to those little gold ball thingies and to finish it off i just put a yellow overlay layer over everything to tie it all together so i think this might be one of my favorite drawings that i've ever colored um and Kay agrees too I, she did a really really good job on the sketch and i really like the colors that i managed to put in the shading for her I'm especially proud of the different colors in her hair. I'm like a huge fan of those colors together. And I think that I also managed to get a good sense of where the light is coming from in the drawing. And I just think the whole color scheme is really pretty. 
So anyways, um, that's the end of today's video. Here are the two drawings that we did today. Uh, I'm really proud of both of them. I think we did a great job. And if you scroll back in our video history, you can see some drawings which were not as great as these ones. Though, to be fair, both of these took over three hours and then the ones we did in the beginning were took, um, they took a little bit less time. So uh, that's our insect themed drawing swap challenge. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Bye.